Hi, and welcome back to the 2023 Big West Women's Basketball Preview Show presented by BuyB1.com. I'm Crystal Blanc, along with Tammy Blackburn. Tammy, our number two preseason pick, the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos and a head coach, Bonnie Henriksen. Uh, she's only got a couple of starters back, but she's a player that, or a coach that picked up some transfer players as well. Um, but she's looking forward to the question mark for them, really, who's going to be running the point for this group? Yeah, uh, in her eighth season, and I love the way Bonnie Henriksen approaches this game because when you take a look at the history of UC Santa Barbara and um, the trophies that are in the trophy case in the women's college basketball office there for Bonnie, she doesn't take that lightly. She knows what that history means. She says last year, because we used to, we walk by those every day. And so she wants to get that program back. They are poised to be in a great place with 10 players returning. Tremendous amount of experience. Big question, like you mentioned, who handles the ball with Danae Miller, who was one of those players that you just can't replace. They'll have to go out and find one. Yeah, graduating her first team all Big West, average double digit scoring, but also let them in assists. But they do have Isla Lane that gives them some size. She is a senior, averaged almost a double double last year. We got to look for some action in the paint for the Gauchos. Yeah, it's all about in the paint for Isla Lane, right? And and I just think when you break down Bonnie Henriksen and the way that she coaches, if you just if you look at her playbook and her play calling, I think you know Isla Lane is just really one of those players that that fits that so well. She will be a focal point for this team. They're going to look to go to her. But Bonnie brings you know a lot of different wrinkles offensively, and she can throw in different things that will better suit Isla Lane with the people that are surrounding her uh, when they can't use Isla Lane. Uh, the, the question will be, you know, who will it be? Uh, there's a senior class, you know, the coaches will be uh, having an extension um, of them on the floor with that senior class. Uh, you have uh, some, some other players on this team that I think are going to be leaders and they're going to need, they're going to need to be. Yep. They definitely will be. And so Bonnie Henriksen has a core group coming back to new faces as well. And when we return, we'll get a chance to catch up with the head coach of the Gauchos right after this. The B1 Performance Patch elevates physical functions by transforming carbs into glucose used to fuel the body. Don't compete without it. Visit buyb1.com or on social media at B1 Patch. Power isn't born, it's built over time. For over 65 years, Hercules Tires has been providing the muscle to move more drivers. Whatever the vehicle, whatever the terrain, and we back it with a powerful protection plan. So wherever the road or the trail takes you, we have the selection, value, and strength to get you there. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Big West is back in Las Vegas. Don't miss the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands, March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Catch the pulse-pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament. Get the best seats in the house at ucsbgauchos.com slash tickets or call 805-893-UCSB. What a finish! Welcome back to the Big West Women's Basketball Preview Show. We're talking about the number two pick on the season, the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos, and their head coach, Bonnie Hendrickson, caught up with our Molly Sullivan. Let's listen in to see what she has to say. You've got 10 players returning, two of which are starters. Coach, that's got to be music to your ears. What do you like from your squad here coming up into the regular season? I think for us, um, you know, our, our the, re the returning group had tremendous amount of experience. I think where we are is just really trying to figure out at the point guard position, having lost to Nay Miller, who had the ball in her hands so much, um, where do we go from there and who 
who does, where's that ball going to be now at, at end of a shot clock or end of a game. And I think we've had some, obviously most of the returners step up and um, show some, you know, spots where that might be them and, you know, where to, where, how does that work for us? But, you know, with Ida Lane and Alexis Tucker and then Taylor Mole, who was in the starting position um, two years ago and, and in and out of it a little bit last year. So with that experience, uh, that I think that really helps us as we transition with some some players without experience and some freshmen and transfers as well. That said, how do you coach them up? It, will your style? Does your style change at all, or do you stay true to your principles here? No, we'll we'll stay. We, you know, we we take a lot of pride in trying to get out and transition and you know share the ball, move the ball. Over sixty percent of our shots are assisted, so we let go of the ball, and that's a style that's fun to play, fun to coach, and hard to defend because. You know, where, where's the ball going to go? And and then, but it can be challenging to teach too, especially with new players. Like what's a good shot for me might not be for somebody else. And, you know, what does the movement need to be? If we're in motion, it means motion means movement. So moving and, and, uh, and then obviously keeping an eye on Isla Lane inside the, inside the paint and make sure uh, that she's, um, she's obviously a focal point for us. And, but also being able to use her to create some opportunities uh, for other people when it's not going to her, being able to use her, opposite straight line drive and, and, and kind of get action away from her. So we'll, we'll stay true to who we've been. It's just, you know, what, what will it look like without, you know, Danae could finish my sentences for me. I mean, that, I mean, that's how long she'd been in the program for us. So, but I'm really, I'm really proud of the returners that understood that was going to be an opportunity for them early and their growth from last year has, has been obvious. And that said, you've got a strong senior class to put it lightly, having, <laughs> perhaps a couple extra coaches on the floor, right? Uh, it can't, can't hurt in, in terms of championing your message. It certainly uh, right. cannot hurt, right? Right, exactly. With, with oh, Ida Lane and the most experienced in that group, but Taylor's been starting her third year. Tux, Alexis Tucker's in her second year. And, and, you know, it's not that we'll do exactly the same thing, but there's a comfort level for those uh, players in a system that has been pretty consistent. And you, Alyssa Marin is a junior. Anya Choice is junior. So it's it's those that senior class, uh, but also those juniors in here that have, and both Anya and Alyssa have played significant minutes. Alexis Whitfield coming out of Washington yes. here. Yeah. She made some serious noise for the Huskies. What do you like from her play, and 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 certainly as a person as well. Well, it, it, when the transfer portal, it, it feels a lot different when you recruited them out of high school, and we did with with Alexis. So we were in the mix with her out of Chaminade High School. So that familiarity has been, I think, impactful in her transition. I think for her, this is a bit a different style for her, and we appreciate her being willing to get uncomfortable because that's what it's been more being a ball handler, not a primary playmaking, you know, like a point guard action, but just ball reversals and being able to make decisions with the ball in her hands. But boy, she's got amazing vision without the ball. She cuts, she back cuts, she back doors, she gets, she understands, she does a great job on the glass for us right now. I think in motion, it gives her room to lanes to go rebound playing from the three point line. Um, she's really good at the rim. She's starting to attack and be more aggressive for us. It's who we thought we could develop her into. And it's, we're excited to have the chance to do that. Um, in her junior year now. Early and often, Coach, you have implored your team to win the day. What does that mean exactly in your system? Well, for uh, for us is is trying to get better every day. And we had a conversation today about just, you know, we're ever, you know, the ex working hard is one thing, but then competing every day. So do you win the day from being a competitor? And, you know, we could put a time on the clock. We could make it a certain number of possessions. We can create things and script things that make things hard. But uh, as a player, it's your job to be competitive. No one's going to force you to compete. So we, you know, do from a competitive standpoint, do you win the day? But that's in the classroom. That's as a teammate. That that's as a sibling. Is you know, as just a as a person to to be the best you know that you can be as you as you navigate your day. So again, that's setting a standard high for yourself, and I think that's incredibly important. And that that's a that's a life skill that that win the day will that can work as a staff. We're all trying to win the day as well. So, but it is a. A mantra, I think, that speaks to sun up to sundown. Uh, that said, you know, in speaking with your student athletes, they will be quick to tell me that coach is always saying that it, this is not a four year decision. This is a lifetime decision. Right. And 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 recruiting those elite student athletes. Right. Um, what is it about your program that sets you apart from the rest? I think for us, it's a it's a, an unbelievable um, elite experience in the classroom and without sacrificing your basketball experience. And it is a, you know, when you, you know, play for four years here and many play for years after, uh, but that 40 year is what 
the impact of a degree from UC Santa Barbara can impact the rest of your life, the trajectory of what you want to do professionally um, when you're done playing and the relationships you build on campus. And, you know, people talk about resources and oftentimes we get confused that those are buildings and we have beautiful buildings here. Don't get me wrong, but the people in the buildings here are amazing. They're talented and committed to to young women in, in, in their professional growth. So I think that for, for us, separates us in the opportunities and mentorships and job opportunities when they're done, when they've graduated. Coach, uh, there was a missed opportunity by your reporter here. You mentioned sunrise and sunset. If, if our, if our viewers at home follow you on Twitter, then they often see this beautiful sunset from the South coast. I mean, talk about a recruiting tool. If you well, Being in from, and being from Minnesota, I will drive to campus and I come in from the South. So I, I'm always passing campus point. Well, nine times out of 10, there are people surfing and, and just the, the amazing uh, restaurants and all of that that go with Santa Barbara. And we, you know, it's a, you know, if you're the, the academic experience and the basketball experience uh, sets us apart. And then, and then if you have a choice, why not go where, where it is unbelievable, beautiful every day. Um, and just the quality of life uh, is a, a bonus for student athletes and their families. Certainly. So essentially, this preview show is the sunrise, but yes. Uh, yes. as the sun sets uh, late into the spring, right? Uh, what will be a success for you, Coach? What what will define success for you for your program? What will you be pleased with? At well, the, the, uh, end? sure, good, really good question. And the end game is obviously an NCAA tournament, a conference championship, tournament championship, and and an NCAA tournament berth. And that's, you know, we're all, we all come to work every day to, for, to give our players that opportunity. And, and, but then you've got to peel it back though. That's the, that's the end result. And then let's embrace the process and the, go back to winning the day that, that, so that's out there. And, and there's no, there's no shame in talking about that, that there's, those are goals and expectations. And, but then you got to peel it back and dial it back down and peel the onion. And, and then what are the ripple effects of our choices and decisions every day to choose to be great and, and, and about being a great teammate and, and all the boring coach speak that goes involved with, um, you know, having, having high goals and setting, setting, uh, having expectations. So I think for us, it's the demand, the work from ourselves as a staff first and for us to grow and to demand that from our players. Um, and for us to be able to, how do you get to that point? We, we won't be there now. We're, we won't be there when we start practice next week, but the expectation is that we work, that we put ourselves in a position to do that. And in a league that's so good with good coaches and good, really good players. And, and it's a, it's a challenge and you, you know, we're right now preparing for, for that end, but it's, but it's exciting. It's challenging. And, and, but those are, that's, that's why we come to work every day. And that's where the play, why our players chose to come here. We are so looking forward to covering every layer uh, along the way. Best of luck coach. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Big West is back in Las Vegas. Order your tickets today for the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands, March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Don't miss a minute of pulse pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the next level. Order now at ucsbgauchos.com slash tickets or call 805-893-UCSB. The B1 Performance Patch elevates physical functions by transforming carbs into glucose used to fuel the body. Don't compete without it. Visit buyb1.com or on social media at B1 Patch. Malama is to cherish and protect the reefs, the fish, the birds, the winds, and the land. <laughs> Giving back, that's something that lasts generations. Learn how you can Malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama. Sometimes faster isn't always better. Like when you're getting a tattoo. Or saying I love you on the first date. Or putting together certain Swedish furniture. But when it comes to getting in and out of the airport, faster is always better. And at Ontario International Airport, you can have the stress-free experience from the curb to the gate. 
It's the least we can do. The Big West is back in Las Vegas. Don't miss the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands, March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Catch the pulse-pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the NCAA Tournament. Get the best seats in the house at ucsbgauchos.com slash tickets or call 805-893-UCSB. What a finish! But Tammy, the Gauchos looking at what they're going to have to fill. It might be point guard, point guard by committee, but she still has Alexis Tucker. They still have Taylor Mole as well to go with Isla Lane. Yeah, you know, when, when you listen to Bonnie and you really have to appreciate, you know, where she comes from, her knowledge of the game. Uh, knowing Bonnie's system, this is a team that will certainly be grounded like they always are with defense and they actually want to get up and down the court. And so I appreciate Bonnie's patience. Uh, building a program does not happen overnight, but they believe in her. She's done a really good job. And I think this could be the year for Bonnie Hendrickson and the Gauchos. And it will be exciting to see all of those pieces, including Alexis Whitfield, the transfer from University of Washington, come together. She'll be a great addition. So uh, looking forward to watching them play. Yep. Picked in the number two spot. We'll see what the Gauchos can do. And finally, the number one pick on the preseason poll. We will have that for you when we return right here on our preview show.